Hey, Matt. Hey, Steve. What's up? Hey, you like lychee? What lychee? Oh, you're in luck. I found a kick-ass lychee cocktail here at Mekong Thai Tapas. I think you're really going to like it. Right and, here? Right here. And I talked them into showing us how to make it. Sounds good to me. Let's head on in. Let's get this party started. This is the guy? This is Thomas. How you doing, Thomas? Good. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So this is your famous lychee cocktail. Yeah, we got to say. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Right. That's pretty intense. Oh, the floral notes on it. Yeah, I definitely got that floral tones and it's got a nice sweet richness to it. You, you got to show us, how do you make this cocktail? So um, to start with these uh, lychee with vodka. So first off, you got the hibiscus flower that you infuse it in vodka. I can show you how, but it's gonna take a while, but I'll show you the uh, little bottle here. Any, any your favorite vodka with a bunch of the, the flour, sit for a couple hours uh, and you refrigerate it. So okay. it only takes a few hours. It's in room temperatures. Okay. And you can store it. And the end products look like this. Filter it out, have this vodka purple color. And where can we buy that? So um, a lot of places like Amazon or Whole Food Market or any you know farmer market that you have this a little herbal. And you can use a lot of other flowers if you like ah, to. That's a great idea. I'm gonna enjoy this while he makes it. All right. I'm gonna need another one once this one's done. So you got two ounce of uh, vodka, which is the uh, uh, butterfly pea vodka. Wow, it's a beautiful blue uh, color it gives it. Yeah. And you got the uh, two ounce of lychee puree. Uh, you can use uh, can lychee puree it up, blend it all down, get this a little smooth textures. Now is that filtered or is it nope. you just put it? Yeah, in, I can pulp in there. You just put it in a blender. And, yeah. All right. Yeah. Look. Pulp a little texture in your cocktails. And one ounce of the uh, simple syrup. And the essential part of this cocktail also fresh lime juice. Without fresh lime juice, your drink will be blue. Without not purple. Interesting. So that actually really changes pretty. the color, right, uh, to purple. Yep. I mean, that does make sense. Yes. This is still bluish. But when you have this a little lime juice in there, you can definitely taste that fresh lime in there. Yeah, that's the oh, first thing okay. I think I noticed was that hit of lime, and then the sweetness came after. And you rip, shake it. Still, still martini glass. Now this uh, this is a daiquiri glass. Is this your preferred method? Martini glass is preferred. You can serve on the rocks. Have okay. prefer uh, people prefer it on the rocks as well. But I do like it straight up. I like it straight up too. Yeah. You can double strain it, but uh, I like a little pulp in that drinks. Get a little texture to it. Yeah. Now what do we garnish it with? So uh, typically on the lychee martini we have lychee fruit. This is the. Uh, oh, the, Nice catch. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew you were part ninja? Uh, lychee fruit that you could use a uh, little garnish on that. You can do flower, tropical drinks with tropical flower. Okay. What do you like to serve this drink with? So in Thai cuisine, these are a little on the sweeter side of cocktail. You can go with a little bit of spicy dishes like drunken noodle, or even a little pad thai that has a little spicy hint to it. We do serve here as a little spicy pad thai to go very well with this as well. I could only imagine how delicious that would be. Yes. Well, Thomas, you have done an amazing job making this kick-ass cocktail here. What do you think, Steve? I I love it. I definitely think that it's unique. I love the the texture in it because it, it, it doesn't look like a martini, right? For sure. But it feels like something you'd have in Hawaii. Yeah. Paradise style drink. Oh man, and this is so dangerous. It is so smooth. Like, I yeah. guess it, you definitely have to set a limit to probably two at the most of these because I could definitely take it out and taste the alcohol in it. Well, right. awesome. Well, thank you so much, Thomas. Yes, this is amazing. Yeah, and uh, 
where can people find you if they want to have this drink? So we're located in the uh, Mesa Grand Shopping Center uh, off the uh, 60, Safely okay. Drive. Uh, we call Mekong Thai Tapas and Bar. It's a variety of the uh, Thai food with cocktails. Awesome. Great. It's a beautiful place yes. you have here. Thanks thank you, again, Thomas. Yes, thank you so much.